copy of a painting by Peter Paul Rubens and um, which is entitled The Abduction of Ganymede and Ganymede was a, a beautiful shepherd who Zeus got a look at him and said, I gotta have this guy up here in, in Olympus to be my wine server and, uh, so the story is is that the, the eagle takes the eagle is actually Zeus, takes uh, Ganymede up to Olympus, and that's where he spends the rest of his, his eternal life. But I took it and decided I'm going to change it. I put in a few changes of myself because um, I pay close attention to what's going on around the world and um, a lot of problems, but I'm more interested in solutions. And I see solutions happening. I see things happening. I see people talking, communicating, having deep conversations, and about who we are and who's holding us back from who we can be. And so what I've done here, I've, I've changed some of that. Let's see if I have an original. Yeah, here we go. If you want to see, there's the, there's the original, but, but I'll probably flash something on the screen, but you can see I made some changes in it, okay? And first with the cloth, I turned it into the American flag, okay? Because here we have this figure. I changed it and made him into the light bearer, bringing light to the world. But in order to bring this light to the world, there's some business that needs to be taken care of first. And that business is getting rid of something, some people call it the Illuminati, the globalists, the deep state, or whatever. So what I did, I took that little, that little symbol that you see on your dollar bill, you know, the all-seeing eye with the pyramid, and some that the Masons put on there. If you want to know more about what the symbolism on your dollar bill is, just look into a guy called Mark Passio, P-A-S-S-I-O, he'll tell you all about it. But the Novus Ordo Seclorum, basically is New World Order. You've heard of that before. So our boy here, Ganymede, he's crushing that. And while he's taking care of that business, the American Eagle, and I turned the eagle from the Rubens painting into the bald-headed eagle, which is the symbol of the United States of America. And he's got his talons over the Satanist symbol. And as you get closer to what the head of the snake is, about all these different organizations around the world that control the governments, control the media, control the, the military, the um, entertainment industry, etc. They all seem to be part of this particular club here. And that's where the child abduction and all that stuff comes in. But you do your own homework on that. I'm just planting seeds, just planting seeds. And over here we have the United Nations. Now the United Nations, they're notorious for getting involved in the child trafficking of children. And it seems that the Chinese pretty much control the UN, the military of the UN. But again, that's for you to go find out, all right? That's for you to go find out. I'm just planting seeds here, folks. So here we have Ganymede bringing the light to who? Well, I have the Chinese flag here on this lady here and the European Economic Union uh, mask on the lady there because we're bringing the light to these continents and the rest of the world. And what is that light? The light of the consciousness. As we crush the evil, okay, the light shall come forth. 
in the corner. Now this is in the painting, in the original painting. It's, you know, all the boys up in Zeus's little club in the Mount Olympus, you know, having a, a twirl with the ladies, you know, drinking, rocking and rolling and all that stuff. But what I've done here, I've put tattoos on these guys. Now, this guy here, all right, that tattoo there, it happens to be the, uh, the official symbol for Russia, the two-headed um, eagle, or is it a phoenix? I don't know. Anyway, and then this guy's got the symbol of India, the, the spinning wheel, and this guy's got the symbol of Brazil, which I use at, at, uh, in Rio, the um, Christ that's up on the, on the hilltop there. Why? Because there's something called, so BRICS, and BRICS is an alliance of the countries of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. And then there's five or six of them running behind them wanting to catch up also, because they want to bring all their economies together to fight the deep state in the West. Not the good American people, not the good European people, but the head of the snake, which I alluded to down here. And I forgot to mention, speaking of the head of the snake, we need to zero in right here. And the bald-headed eagle symbol of America has its talons in Kazaria, K-H-A-Z-A-R-I-A, Kazaria. What is Kazaria? Well, look into the Kazarian Mafia, which has been around for about 2,000 years, causing havoc and misery in the world. And you're going to find out that um, it's an interesting place, this Kazaria, because actually it's the historical name for a place called the Ukraine. And so there's some serious work going on in the Ukraine right now, a military, military operation to clean out what's been there for centuries. Okay, but you go do your own homework on this. Don't believe anything I say, but just go do your homework. Because after the Ukraine, Probably going to be Taiwan, and after that, possibly Israel. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned something from it. And uh, if you want to see more of my uh, paintings, please go to www.tonygreen.net. And there I have all my paintings of Venice, Italy, of New Orleans, and also some of my videos and uh, etchings, linoleum cuts, watercolors, a lot of stuff to see, a lot of stuff to see. And I just want to wish you all the very best. We must stay together. Don't let us divide and conquer us. And God bless all of you. Ciao.